Without further ado, I'd like to again welcome everyone to the call this morning. I ask that everyone be respectful of this virtual learning environment that we are creating together. We will be on for a short period, but we are very happy to have our special guest with us today. Please make sure your camera is on and your face is in view. The chat is open for everyone. We won't have time for questions today, but our guest that's with us, you'll be watching a documentary afterward and you will be able to add questions in that reflection that you complete. So again, we only have time to say hello and for an introduction for this um, incredibly, incredibly engaging um, and informative documentary. And so without further ado, I'd like to introduce our guest, Amy Wu. She is the creator, founder, advocate of her documentary, From Farms to Incubators, which you are going to view today in class. And we're so lucky to have her join us join us today in our virtual classroom just to kind of introduce us to that documentary, say hello, um, and grace us with her presence. So Miss Amy Wu, without further ado, if, you, if you'd like to take the virtual floor, we welcome you. Oh, well, thank you, Noelle, for that really excellent introduction. And um, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm joining you today from uh, Hudson Valley, New York, which is about 100 miles north of New York City. And good morning to everybody uh, here in Chicago. <laughs> So um, I'm really honored to speak briefly today, um, you know, to all of you students and teachers at the Chicago High School for Agricultural Sciences. I'm going to share a, a briefly a little bit about myself in the documentary. So I'm a journalist by background. Um, I started out in newspapers and, and wrote for magazines and also did some online reporting as well. Um, and in 2016, um, I was assigned to Salinas Valley, California, which is known as the Salad Bowl of the world. Um, some of you might have also heard about it because John Steinbeck um, was actually born and raised there and wrote a lot of his novels in the Salinas Valley as well. And a lot of his novels are actually uh, have some background in the, in the area of agriculture. So um, at the same time, you know, while I was writing about agriculture and reporting about it, I know there was a sector, and you're going to learn more about it in the documentary. I don't want to give it away, but it's called Agriculture and Innovation, which is known as um, ag tech. So um, ag tech is any kind of software um, that helps growers do a, essentially grow better, grow more efficiently. This could be artificial intelligence, um, blockchain, robotics, and automation. And I also noticed that there were not a lot of women uh, leaders in agriculture at the same time. I would go to um, ag meetings and farm bureau meetings, and uh, I didn't see a lot of people who looked like me, <laughs> basically. So I decided to search for women leaders and innovators in ag tech. I started to go to meetings and ask, do you know of any um, minority women entrepreneurs in ag tech? And at first I got a lot of people looking at me like, you know, what did you ask? Or a lot of kind of blank stares. And I think that actually um, piqued my curiosity. So I kept asking the question. And what came from that was this documentary called From Farms to Incubators that was actually first released in 2017 and updated in 2018. It profiles a handful of women in the space. They are women who founded ag tech companies. Um, a lot of them have some sort of connection with California. And some of their innovation actually has connections with the Midwest and really across the country. So I'm super excited that today you'll be watching this. And I also want to say that today is a really special day for me. It's May 4th. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. <laughs> But at the same time, today is the launch of the book from Farms to Incubators. Actually, it launches today. It was inspired by the film. And what's exciting about it is actually it profiles nearly 30 women in the space. So with that, I'm just going to say I hope that you all enjoy the, the screening. And I'm sure that you'll have a lot of engaging and thoughtful questions um, afterwards. And, um, and thank you so much for having me. It's a real honor to be here this morning. 
Well, thank you so much, Amy Wu. We are so excited to have you here today, especially on the day of the launch. We couldn't feel more special to have you here with us and to be able to join us and even give us five minutes of your super busy schedule. So students, the chat is open. If you would like to thank Ms. Wu for joining us this morning. And then um, everyone will be join watching the documentary from Farms to Incubators in class today. So thank you so much again. Please, Ms. Thank Wu, you. have a great day. Thank you again. And students, you will be reporting to your current first period class. Thank you again. Thank you. All right.